Let's go. Let's go. Mina, what happened? If you thought it was a joke, <laughs> if you thought that it was a joke that Mina Kageni uh. is running for women rap, but it's not a joke. No. He's actually right. For me, if I see it on the screen and it's put up right against some serious aspirants, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is serious. So I almost dropped my cup when I was watching that and I saw the typical <laughs> And I said, oh my gosh, he's running. He I is actually running. And guess what? Is it serious though? At number one is Esther Fasari. Woo! Not Lara. a different kind oh, of thing. And at number two <laughs> is Rachel Shabash. Okay, okay. And creeping in at number three. <laughs> Where's one percent? Let me tell you, just being on the list, <laughs> it says, let me tell you what it says. It says a lot about what Nairobi is. It but, could be that this man mm. is communicating to somebody and that somebody <laughs> it was really true. wants him to represent you know, them. I but actually thought it was a joke. I because, thought it was a joke. Because the thing I is, you know what, you can't joke. actually say, okay, my, my symbol is a wig. And by that you should be what? what? Wait, but what does it say about Nairobi Look, women? What does this say? symbol is a wig. What does this say about Nairobi women? I don't know. You, um, are you know, I, no, he is going to. I was thinking about it, and I was thinking yeah. that basically, if a man can actually do women's rep better, because we've had women's rep, um, some of them have performed, some of them have not performed. If he actually wants to represent women, because Mina has been very fo vocal on women issues. Mm. He In a wrong way. Okay. <laughs> no. And I'm gonna keep crying. You know what? I think. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I think. Mina can get it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but it's Friday. Right. Right. The energy in this table. Is <laughs> no, no. Let me tell you. Honestly, I think my Nakagini is beautiful. Guys, I would vote for her. Let's, for, let's, for let's him. take a look at him, for him just to see whether he's as beautiful as Pierre is. Come on. <laughs> I think he has, he has a really beautiful smile. Oh, the other side, that the, that that job can be uh, taken up by a man. Maina Kageni has been doing that, and his a symbol of uh, his party symbol is this: a weave. This is going to be what is going to represent us. Well, Maina, I mean, it was a good laugh. Actually, I raised that <laughs> once. I said, you know, the county woman rep constitutionally doesn't say the gender. But when you look at the underlining factors, any judicial court will say that every law has an underlining factor. Why did we bring this law? The law was about getting more women into Parliament. Yes. So unless Maina Kageni intends to have a sex change in the future before oh, wow. he is elected, <laughs> he cannot run for county so woman rep. So that job cannot be taken up by a man? No. no. It's purely for a woman. To Esa Pasaris, to Kutane, Kwadebe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh Esther Pasaris, shade! When she, when she threw in the sex shade. change, I love when it. she threw uh, in the sex change, that's when it got serious. Yeah. Because it's almost <laughs> insulting that anybody can now do this. Yeah. Remember when Caitlyn Jenner was trying to, you know, um, represent women? She started doing a lot of campaigns and saying yeah. like this. A lot of people, women said, I, we are actually you have no women. idea what struggles we have gone through our entire lives. I lives. know, but that is true. the seriousness of it is the fact that he is lit, like it's he's, it, this is serious. Mm, he's not joking. Somebody's voting for him. You yeah, know what? That's your Nairobi. Let me tell you, if I I didn't like really, really, really like Pasaris, I would vote for you, Maina. <laughs>